rape it again with some <laughs> gems from the weird. <laughs> I got to laughing at something in this story here that I'd missed. The guy's name. Oh, boy. <laughs> Five bucks, <laughs> <laughs> It floats. Sometimes. <laughs> ah. <laughs> you know, a week before last, we told you about record-holding water treader Moon Huffstetler swimming 55 miles on the Catawba River to help commemorate my 55 years in broadcasting and practicing for his next big swim all the way down the Mississippi River. Well, here's a man who plans to swim the New York City sewer system. Dateline. Weekly World News, New York City. A courageous garbage man is demanding his right to swim the length of the city's sewer system from one end to the other just to prove that the wastewater festering under the city streets is nowhere near as toxic as it's cracked up to be. The man, Arthur Turdmore, told the Weekly World News, all of this <laughs> whining about pollution makes me sick. Mr. Turdmore says... <laughs> <laughs> he says, I'm going to swim the sewer to show the world that a man <laughs> as healthy as he, he makes up his mind to be. Mr. Turdmore's. <laughs> he, <laughs> he says he's learned that it may be easier to dog paddle through the sewer than to negotiate Big Apple bureaucracy. They got me loaded up with paperwork running from one office to another for permits like I was some kind of hamster in a maze. <laughs> the would-be marathon swimmer would also like to obtain some financial sponsors. <laughs> Says it's been difficult to attract attention from the press. <laughs> Who says that? <laughs> Mr. Turdmore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm Billy Robert D. E. Rayford, swimming against the stream on the John Boy and Billy Show.